We hypothesize that females are more affected by noise than males. To test our hypothesis, we compiled 20 various noises and tested them on 30 males and 36 females. Majority of the test subjects were 17 to 18 year olds. Our 20 noises were baby crying, parakeets, explosion, Neil Armstrong, dog barking, wedding song, angry dogs, storm, tiger roaring, sneeze, drill, airplane, president speech, eating chips, hammer, rocket launch, spoons, and horse galloping. So here's a sample survey that we gave to our 20 to our test subjects. We had them rate 20 noises on a scale 1 through 10 with 1 being the most unpleasant and 10 being the most pleasant. From our surveys, we found that 17 out of the 20 noises that males rated the noises higher than females. So males were found them more pleasant than females. And some parameters. The average of the average male scores was 4.7 and for the females was 3.7. The standard deviation for the females was 1.8, the standard deviation for the males was 1.6. This means that the males had a higher average and were more closely clustered together than the females. And to confirm our test, we did a two sample t-test with the parameters previously mentioned and we found out that t was 1.7 and p was 0 0.048. So with um, with statistics, we can conclude that this is statistically significant with an alpha level of 0 0.01. So our initial conclusions that females were more affected by noise than males was correct. As Nikolai mentioned, the data reveals that females tend to react to sounds more strongly than males do. Females rated every sound more unpleasant except for the national anthem, puppies barking, and the wedding song. The largest discrepancy in the survey was in the two explosions, with mean differences of 4.2 and 3. This may be a result of cultural stereotypes or evolution, as explosions are socially seen as more masculine. Overall, we determined that a difference in mean of 1.5 or greater was statistically significant. Eight sounds, both explosions, the wedding song, the animals, and the moon landing, saw such a discrepancy. The harshest noises were generally chosen by males, and the more sentimental ones by females. Our culture often portrays women as sentimental and soft, while men are seen as tough and brutish. Although this is not necessarily true, stereotypes have a large effect on how people perceive things. The rampant racism in the American past is an example of this. Our group concluded that the difference in sound perception between the genders is a result of physiology, but to a greater extent, gestalt accumulated over a lifetime. In our study, all the subjects were 17 of 18 years of age, male and female. To improve our study, we could, have, we could test more subjects of varying ages and varying sounds as well. Subjects could also be tested individually and more anonymously instead of a group setting. Shout out to Dr. B, you're the real MVP.